Hey guys, Trey here with Handcrafted by Trey, and I have a bizarre project for you. So I have a bunch of the Bessie K body clamps, ranging from 40 inches all the way down to 18, like you see here. I have no way to store them. I'm running out of a small car and a, garage, car and a half garage, and we need a way to put them up. My plan is, I've never seen it done, but I'm going to use an electric hoist, and we're going to build a contraption that's going to put them up against the ceiling but then lower half of it down at a 45 degree angle so that you can be able to grab them from the, from the ground, pull them off the contraption, but then when not used, it'll pull itself back up. I have some unused space that sits between the garage and the garage ceiling. So I have about 18 inches to spare and it's unused, it can't be used for anything else other than this project that I have in mind. So when, it, when we need to get them off, we can drop them down. When we need to use the garage door, we'll hoist it back up. So everything will be running off of this Harbor Freight, and this is a 440 pound hoist, so it should be good. We are going to mount it in a configuration that it's not supposed to be mounted for. A lot of cool things are going on here, so hopefully you stick around and see what's going on. Alright guys, I know it's kind of hard to see, but as what I've done here is we have the green line, we put our green cross arrows straight down the middle of this center joist. So my plan is to possibly get as wide as I can. So that's going to be a 48 inch. So every 24 inches we have a joist. So we're going to span three joists with the center joist being where our pulley and our hoist is going to go because it's going to hit dead center of our, our contraption. So that is the dead center of where the actual pulley and cable need to exit the hoist. So if that makes sense, we're going to mount the hoist up in this area and the cable itself needs to come straight out of that pocket, straight down here to hit our pulley that's going to transverse the uh, movement straight down to the actual contraption. So let's see what we can make happen. Alright, so I know this place is a wreck, sorry for all that, but that's the whole reason for this project. Um, but we just got it mounted, the cable is hung through both the pulley and the joist. Move the ladder out of the way, and here we are for the strength test portion of how it's going to happen. No clue, but we're going to do it together, so if I fall, don't laugh at me too hard. holding 200 pounds and it didn't even fall and something else uh, I didn't account for was the distance from the pulley and the drop down to the actual hook on the cable uh, so we're going to have to test a few things again this is on the fly voted from the beginning but we'll see what happens from here
All right, guys, so I've been a little quiet working, um, as you can see, but here's the thing. We have built a contraption, so we're about to attach the top board, the brace board, to our blocks, our hinge blocks, and we have our gas pipe here. So everything should be in motion to move forward and at least get this thing together. Um, we've got lag bolts, uh, a bunch of screws, glue. Hopefully it's strong enough to hold it to the ceiling. Uh hang the rack. This is the most nervous part because I'm by myself and I'm not sure how I'm going to configure it to get it in there. But we're going to do our best and see what we can make work. Hang on and, and hold on to your Cheerios because here we go. So it's hung, it's at least on the ceiling. That is uno number one of a, like a trophy. I should get a trophy for this right now. I'm so happy and so excited because I have been bothering and worrying myself so much about this exact step. So let's keep moving. I'm excited, let's keep moving. All right, Power Pro, I'm trusting you a ton because this is holding up a lot of weight. So hopefully all of this works out the way it should. So we are officially taking on her maiden voyage. Ooh, baby. All right, so there's some kinks to work out. Um, 
the pulley is off centered a little bit right up here. So we need to fix that so it won't roll off. The, the cable won't roll off the pulley. The cable can't come loose, but it can roll off the pulley and get inside the binding. So we need to adjust that and figure out why it's doing that. The other thing is um, it's the pulley rope here is slightly in the way, but it may be because of the hanger I got that actually attaches to it. I think I can replace that with maybe one of those uh, corkscrew ones that have just the knot on the end, not an actual uh, ring on it. So let's get this thing loaded up. I am just so excited. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed the Bessie K Body Ultimate Ceiling Clamp Rack. This thing was totally a product of my imagination and I cannot believe it actually came to life to be honest with you. So everything you see here has been revised at least 12 times. Uh, I've showed you through the video the multiple things that I had to change between the ceiling distance and the blocks and the way the pulleys ran, the way that the actual cable ran through the rack. Everything has changed, but it works, and I couldn't be happier. So again, saying that, I would love for you guys to show me or tell me if this inspires you to make something on your own, or just to go outside the book and try something on your own. If so, please tag me. I would love to see it, and again, I am super happy. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.